Go. Hey guys, so we're going to look at a quick video on straight punches and the issue with straight punches. Now covers work great, you're still going to take some damage. So this is a different way. So for you out there, the idea is going to be I'm going to move my elbows, I'm not going to move my hands. I'm not going to chase stuff with my hands. So anything straight line is going to be elbow first and as the elbow goes, it'll naturally start to push that punch off the center line of my face. So I start to push that punch to the periphery. But he's gonna miss small, which means it's gonna leave me in position to counter. Whereas if I make him miss big, I'm making a lot of space, it's hard for me to counter, either counter wrestle, counter clinch, counter strike, depending on if we're doing MMA or gym work or if we're actually doing a self-defense scenario. Self-defense scenarios, I actually want him to miss small so I can manage that distance and create angles. And then I'm either gonna stay attached and work for, for control and custody or I'm going to uh, work to an angle and then exit and then I can start going all my tools, whatever they, whatever might be appropriate for this scenario. So straight punches, elbows, movement. So Steve's going to help me. As he feeds me straight punches, the same side elbow is just going to redirect that punch. So it's, it's, it's talking to his right ear, but I'm going to redirect it by moving the elbow. You're going to see the elbow move a lot. The idea is my hand doesn't move a lot. Okay. So he starts to feed me either his lead or his rear hand. I'm just using that elbow. Even if I go opposite side, keep going. I can go same side, go left. Okay. I can go here or I can go here. Go left hand again. I can even go here. It works either way. I'm just front loading with that elbow, right? I like to go same, same, but sometimes I get it wrong. I screwed up. I'm far from perfect in this. So Steve's just gonna start working around and feed me punches. Ready to go. In front of the camera, just so you know, I just got back from Portland, Maine. Had as much butter and lobster as I could handle. So I looked a little bigger in my shirt. It'll be off in a couple weeks. <laughs> I didn't even notice. You don't have to come. The camera, the okay? camera will. All oh, right, they'll know. Go. They'll be like, hey, he's usually a big guy, but now he's like super big. <laughs> oh, you're too self-conscious. He's in here working. That's all that matters. He's in here being a savage. Right off vacation. But each time, now that rounded punch, this is great. So when Steve goes around it, because my hand's here, I can go to my cover. Whereas if I start moving my hands for straight shots, like he bumps a straight, uh, and I go here, now he throws that hook. I'm gonna be in trouble. But when I keep it here, he throws that fake. Now he throws that hook, and I'm here. That's why I wanna keep those hands whole. So I can defend either the rounded or straight shots. Now he's just gonna feed me both. Now this skill building, obviously we don't want you to just stay in here and box the guy in the street, but if you are working in the gym, I want to make sure that my counters to these punches are short, quick movements, so that at the same time I can start throwing my counters back to Steve if I wanted to, okay? So that's a way to defend straight shots, just moving the elbow as opposed. So Eat your lobster. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about just like where you're looking when he's throwing those punches? Sure. Uh, I'm looking straight at him and straight, straight here. I'm not trying to look at the hands or look at anything else. I'm looking at his torso and it lets me just keep focused on where Steve is relative to me. And then I can, I don't get faked out my face. So I'm really focused just torso right there. So great job. Thanks guys. Go train a little up.